So today's workshop is to reinforce the principles of continuity editing. And the most important part of continuity editing is actually shooting proper coverage in the field. And so let's take a look at the uh, footage that we'll be dealing with. We've got a wide shot that is, serves as our master where I enter the frame, exit, get a drink of water, and come back. So that's our master. Now that we've established our master and we've established my motion from left to right, all the coverage then follows. Because I, in the previous shot, I entered frame left and exited frame right, I need to enter frame left in this frame. and exit frame left like I did in the master. Notice how I have a clean entrance and exit in all the coverage shots. This is my uh, reversal shot. I enter frame left, I exit frame right. I enter frame left and I exit that same way. Clean entrance and exit in every shot. And then I have one little stunt shot That's for the arty of you. Where I enter frame and push the button and exit. All right, so now that we have proper coverage, let's go ahead and edit this footage together using continuity editing. So we'll open up Premiere, File, New Project. We'll call it, uh, put your name, continuity editing. I'm going to save it in the folder that I'm working on and hit OK. I'm, we've got our uh, project open. I'm going to double click and import media to start. I'm going to go to my folder, click on that f the folder of the footage and click import. And I'm going to set my footage to scroll so I can open it and take a look. I'm going to drag the first shot in. And that is basically going to um, create a sequence that matches the specs of the footage. And since all of our footage is using the same specs, that's what we want. And I'm going to rename this sequence. Uh, put your name here. And continuity editing. All right. So we will start with our master shot here. I'm going to just start with just me out of frame. We'll hit the uh, the razor button. Delete. So I'm entering to three, and when we when you're editing the steps, we, you kind of want to find a spot where the uh, the feet are both on the ground, or a spot where he's in mid motion. So I'm going to go with feet both on the ground. And let's take a look at what our I don't want to use that shot. Let's let's pick up this shot. So we'll we'll bring this into the folder. Got both my feet on the ground. Let's make sure my legs match up. Uh, they don't. 
I need to uh, I need to go right leg forward here. Boom. Cut here. Um, I, I hit C. I hit C to get the shortcut for the razor, and I hit V to, to make it a selector and to change the handles. I want to. Uh, I'm going to bring in my my stunt. See, where are my feet here? Right, right leg forward. Hit C to put my cut. Hit V, delete. I'm going to right click in here and say ripple delete and that will close the gap. I'm going to hit C to get my razor. V and delete. Now let's take a drink. Um, we can also set our ins and outs here. So my hand's already on the button. And so let's cut, we want to cut in motion. So I'm going to hit. I to set that endpoint, and then we will just drag. I'm, I'm just grabbing that, and dragging down to here. See how that works. Let's see how the whole pace of it works. I think it goes a little fast, so I'm going to back up a little bit on the on the head of that shot. That feels better. So I'm walking, and this shot feels a little short. So let's see if I can stretch it out. Ripple delete. I'm going to, when we can, what we want to do is to not get a clear exit. We want to kind of cut in motion. So while there's still part of me in frame, that's where we want to cut to. And where's the frame wire exit? So I will just go ahead and drag that in here. Cut to my repeated action of of my turn all right and I'll give us get myself a clean exit now any project that we do we always want to fade in and fade out so I'm going to click on this uh, this first file, and we are going to apply video transition, and we'll double click on that transition, and we've got a one second fade up from black here. That looks fine. I'm going to come down here to the end, click on this file, sequence, apply video transition. And if we double click on that transition, it's a one second fade out. We can make it shorter, we can make it longer. I'm going to take a look at that. All right, that looks great. And then lastly, before we render, I want to render all my effects into out.
nice smooth continuous action at a natural pace fade in fade out okay so that works and now we are going to export this project export media it will um, remember the name that you named your sequence and you can just click on it to change that name if you want I am going to also tell it to go to uh, my, my, my working folder I want to make this uh, we want it to be QuickTime let's go to video we want this to be let's go with Apple ProRes Lite it's our, our, our um, project is 1080p so it will remember that um, we don't need to export audio because there's no audio on it and we will export the project double check your project make sure that it looks right and post it on D2L.